when we begin to look at how God raised Gideon uh, to work with him to deliver the people of Israel, uh, you know, there was some encouragement that Gideon needed. Have you ever needed encouragement, right? And one of the primary purposes of prophetic ministry, New, you know, New Testament prophetic ministry, is to edify, encourage, and comfort. And so uh, the Lord knows that. He knows that in our humanity, oftentimes we need that encouragement, that challenge to, to get us in the direction that he wants us to go. In Gideon's case, he's being prepared to be used on a national stage. And so the Lord wants to you know, call him. He wants to confirm his calling. He wants to build him up, and he wants to release him, right? And as I shared last week, uh, throughout the Bible and history, God's proven that he will use and even exalt men and women to places of prominence and position. We need to walk in humility, absolutely, but God does exalt people at times for his purposes. Why is that? Because God wants to be exalted through humanity that he may reveal himself to a world that doesn't know him and draw them to him, right? And so it's interesting because, you know, we talk about the sovereignty of God, and a lot of times folks are like, well, God is sovereign, and God can do anything. And do you believe that? Do you believe God could do anything? Yet, in God's sovereignty, he has chosen to work with humanity, as frail, as weak at times as we are, sin-prone at times we are, God chooses to work through us and partner with us for his purposes on the earth. God is always looking for those that will partner with him and follow him. And sometimes, it's amazing, the impressions that he'll give us or the invitations that he give, gives us are very subtle, they're very slight, but he's asking us to, if you will, step out of the boat and walk on the water with him. It takes...